North South Connection. My name is Jennifer Smith. I am back with a brand new season of Freak Out Drive In, and I am here on video, hopefully, if you're watching on YouTube. And I am here with my friend <laughs> and return guest, Keithy Langston. How are you, Keithy? I am so happy to be here. Um, I'm so excited to be here on the premiere of. I don't know, the 2024 season of Freak Out yes. Drive. I don't know if it's season like four, five, three, two, whatever it is. Uh, it's not really cut up into seasons. It has a complicated history, this show. Wow. We were on a couple of different networks. Um, we uh, had a break and then I kind of rebooted everything. So um, this is... Uh, the 2024 Just season. The 2024 season. 24, and... 2024 season of Freak Out Drive-In. And I am so happy to be back. And uh, as I think you've known before, I was never a real horror fan. Mm -hmm. um, and you've kind of changed my life for that. Oh, my yes. God. And uh, I've started to be a little bit more relaxed and not as much of a pussy when it comes to horror movies. Uh, just like I'm not as much of a pussy anymore when it comes to blood and glass shattered on me at gcw events so yeah. so yeah. hanging out with a girl is making you more brave masculine. it's making me more masculine more masculine hanging out oh. with a mother oh okay there we go making me hanging out with a mother is making me much hanging more out with a baddie <laughs> well you know what it is i've always told you that you're a bamf you're a badass motherfucker and i mean i i hate to call you the queen of mean it's just because you're not mean but it's like you're like the queen of badassery. Like you really are well, because, well, you are, it's a fact. These are facts and you know, you don't fuck around and you know how to <laughs> freaking. I'm pretty sure if, listen, they always say that if, you know, you know, they always have a question they ask wrestlers, like, who do you not want to walk down in a dark alley and meet? Uh, I would say Jennifer Smith. I would not want to meet her. <laughs> what like, do you mean? I'm very nice. Because if you piss, because if you're pissed off, you're probably like, you know, like you won't start a fight, but you'll fucking finish it. And, oh, well, that is true. And that's what we call going Malden on somebody's ass. Like, you, don't, <laughs> you don't start fights, but you fucking finish them. So, yeah. What are we watching tonight? So for this, I picked the movie Heather's, 1988's mm -hmm. Heather's, uh, starring the incomparable Winona Ryder from uh, Stranger Things fame, <laughs> among other things, as well as uh, Christian Slater, the... Mm -hmm. uh, the, the the preemptive boy toy of the 1980s. So, yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I hope everybody likes it. This is actually available on Amazon Prime. And if you want to join us while, while listening to this, we're about like three minutes in. I think we just mm -hmm. hit the three-minute mark, so you could always hit play and fast-forward a little bit if you want. We're right at where uh, main Heather hits the friggin' croquet ball off of uh, Winona Ryder's Veronica's head. So, yes. Do you like that name, Veronica? Always thought it was like a risque or like sexy kind of name. Absolutely. Yeah. I do like, like it. Yes. I feel like it's kind of dirty. I don't know. Why do I think that? Yeah. Is Vicky the like nickname for Veronica or no? No. Or that's Ronnie, maybe. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. I like. Oh, you know what? Yeah, because isn't Ronnie? Um, Ronnie Spector's name was Veronica. Ronnie Spector mm -hmm. from the. Ronettes, I think, was that band, you know, back in the day. I think her name was Veronica. So. Our friend Chad is watching along. Hey. I don't know, are listening to us anyway. What's he up? says, no, Veronica is not a sexy name. So, Whatever. I don't know where Chad, I get you know, you know what's not a sexy name? Chad. <laughs> Chadwick. Or Keith. <laughs> or Keith. Keith is not a sexy name at all. I <laughs> think Keith is definitely not a sexy name. Um, I've never in my life ever heard anybody sh shout the name Keith in uh, fits of ecstasy. So, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, he was he was correcting us. Was, I'm not, my bad, I wrote that yeah. wrong. All right, so he said Veronica is a sexy name. So you know what? I'll take it back. Chad is a very sexy name. The next time <laughs> I, uh, the next time I reach an orgasm, I'll scream Chad. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you record it, bro. I will, of course. <laughs> but. Uh, Anyway, so we are, yeah, so we're watching this movie now. Let me ask you, how did you get into, like, do you remember the first time or what the circumstances were surrounding when you saw Heather's? I don't honestly remember. I feel like it was on TV or, like, 
TBS, TNT, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, definitely watched it at sleepovers. Um, although we were like mall, more like mall rats girls. So. Oh yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And actually, uh, mall. This rats. one is darker. It's you know oh, less very dark. comedy. Yeah, I mean it's still kind of funny, but darker. Yeah. Um, and I think I had, I had definitely. I got into the. I'm very much the same way. Where I think I saw this the first time it was on cable. Um, pro, I mean, we had HBO growing up, so I probably saw it on like HBO. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously, I knew, I knew Winona Ryder from Beetlejuice. Um, God, I'm trying. I mean, I know, I love. Do you remember Mermaids with like Cher and Christina yeah. Ricci? Oh, I haven't seen that forever. Yeah. And, um, I liked I liked Winona Ryder. I still like Winona Ryder. Like I when I saw her like in the first season of like Stranger Things, I was like, man, she still got yeah, it. She's like, so good. She's so good in that. Um, do you remember when she got arrested for shoplifting? I do, and then like everybody acted like it was the end of the fucking world. <laughs> it's like nowadays you do that shit, nobody blinks an eye. It's like insane. but shoplifting, like she didn't drive over somebody and kill right, someone. Yeah. Like, uh, like Matthew Broderick, like she like, just shoplifted. Like, what's well, the big fucking deal, bro? Seriously, I mean. I think my brother got caught shoplifting baseball cards when he was a kid. So it's like, you I know, think everybody just said, well, you know, we're over it. She's, she's in strength <laughs> things. Everybody loves that. So she's fine now. Yeah. So she's she's yeah. Got uncanceled. Oh, she's somehow. wicked fine now. Like no one, yeah. yeah. Like she's getting lots of gigs. I think now, I mean, she's actually going to be, Beetlejuice too, right? yeah, she's in Beetlejuice yeah. too. So, I mean, you know, she's reprising that. that role, which is great. Um, and then Christian Slater, uh, I remember him from Gleaming the Cube, which was that skateboard movie. That fucking skateboard movie. But that came out after this. But I think when I would have seen this, I would have... Gleaming the Cube. Gleaming the Cube Don't was gleam probably... gleam your cube. Yeah, I'll gleam your cube. Um, <laughs> yeah, but then uh, the one movie... I, well, and then he was in Prince of Thieves. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. I love that movie. He's got the best line where he goes, Fuck me, it cleared us. I love that. He's like, He says the F word. Um, obviously, pump up the volume, which was like I think his I want to say that was like his breakout, where everybody started to be like wanting to be in the. Uh... Is that a basketball movie? No, pump up the volumes where he plays like a DJ. Oh, and he's like, a, but he's like a, a DJ. He's not a DJ. He's like a, he's a well, he's a DJ in the sense that he does like pirate radio, and he's like oh, a like a radio, radio DJ. Okay, not know. like a. No, but I should, I should watch. No, no, like he's a he does like pirate radio, which is cool. Okay. And he kind of like, not he doesn't lead a revolution, but he he becomes like you know the voice of the voiceless kind of thing. So okay, I should. Yeah, watch. that's a yeah, great yeah. movie. Actually, that's a pretty fucking great movie. I'd probably watch. like it. Oh yeah, we should watch that one night. It's a great movie. Um, and then my favorite is he does a quick spot in uh in Star Trek Six: The Undiscovered Country. <laughs> Oh my gosh. He does a cameo basically. He's in it for like two seconds. But uh I just kind of I find it kind of funny. But um yeah, he's in like Young Guns too. He's in the Wizard. He did like a lot of shit like after this, but he was in um uh, The Legend of Billy Jean, which is from like 1985, and he's a kid in that. And that stars Helen Slater, and everybody should watch it. It's amazing. Um, I don't know where you can watch it. Probably nowhere. <laughs> Probably nowhere. But um, that's a great movie. That's about like, uh, it's basically like they're like teenage kids. And I think, I think that, I think it is Christian Slater gets like wrongly accused for like a crime. And Helen Slater is like his sister. And she like, they like run away and escape. And the only thing that I remember about it like as clear as day is that I'm pretty sure it's got like the Pat Benatar song Invincible and they play that like a thousand times and it's like yes so okay you know I don't it's know, random fact it is very random fact but uh yeah Chad says nice hat Keith what time does curious George go to bed so thank you uh Jenny for not making fun of my hat this is my uh <laughs> Hannibal Lecter I'm gonna have Chad over for dinner one night <laughs> What you gonna I, have? I actually fucked up that joke. That's like yeah, a, you did. That's the joke that like Trump fucks up all the time. It's supposed to be I'm gonna have Chad for dinner. That's right. What I'm gonna do. So yes, I'm gonna have Chad for dinner when I see him next. So be prepared, Chatty. 
I'm gonna come and fucking eat your liver with some fava beans and a nice chianti. Nice. Oh, hello, Chad. See, that's uh, you know part of the art, if there is any, <laughs> of doing this show is picking the right movies to watch. That's right. Because Silence of the Lambs have been discussed several times, but I feel like it's not a live watch movie. So I don't, I can't see me sitting there like riffing on something like Silence of the Lambs. No, it's really not. The only thing I riff on is really it's that. I mean, there's stuff I would say, but nothing I want to podcast about. Well, well, yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I do like how, um, I, I always say that Buffalo Bob and Clarice kind of have the same voice. Where, like, if you, if there's that scene where he goes, oh, oh, wait, was she a big crap person? And then, yeah, sure, she was a big woman, yeah. Like, they both have, like, that. But it's actually, like, <laughs> I was watching it the other day. Because that's I a movie. That well, that's a movie that I definitely watch, no matter where it is in the movie. I turn on the TV, it's on. Right. And I'll watch it, like, while I'm eating dinner, too. It's so fucking weird. Like, Especially the scene when he's like, would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. I'd fuck me so hard. And then he dances to Goodbye Horses and he tucks his fucking dick and balls. I mean, come on. It's the best. But like, um, I, I every time I see that movie, I'm like, rr, 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 rr. I make that voice for it. And I realize that, you know, that's the sound that Jodie Foster has now <laughs> as her voice. <laughs> Not when she plays Clarice, but it still works because everyone knows what Jodie Foster sounds like. Yeah, she's a she's a big woman, sure. Is there any way you can? <laughs> but yeah, that movie's fucking crazy. I love that movie. Yeah, you know, did you breastfeed her? Toughened the nipples, didn't it? <laughs> I like I like Christian Slater. And Mr. Robot, <laughs> which I know you won't watch. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Rami Malek. I, it's 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 because Rami Malek's on my list of people I can do without, and I have I have a wide list of actors and actresses of people I can do without. So, like who? <sighs> well, number one on that list with a bullet, and I know it sounds bad because he's dead. Is I cannot watch anything with Philip Seymour Hoffman in it. Like I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> And I get so much shit from like my movie fr fans, like my movie fan friends who are like, come on, man, he's real good. And I'm like, and what? Name what he's fucking good in because he plays the same creepy character in everything he's in. Oh, oh, oh can, I, can I kiss you? It's even like, I like, I get clips all the time on like YouTube. My YouTube algorithm has been putting those clips of Charlie Wilson's War, that movie that like Tom. Oh, Pink. yeah. And he's in that. And there's one where he's like, oh, you're a fucking child. And he just, the way he says it, it's like he's just he sounds like he wants to molest a little child. I'm sorry. <laughs> Always. Of course he Chad likes like of course Chad likes Philip Seymour Hoffman. And, but yeah, Capote is a different character. He I was gonna Truman, ask about Capote. He plays Truman Capote, which means he's just that weird freaky character with a higher right. voice. He was a freak. Uh oh, sure. hello, I'm Truman Capote. Like just yeah, and Boogie Chad, of course, Chad loves him in Boogie Nights. He tries to blow friggin' Mark. Marky Mark. Can I kiss you? Can I kiss you, please? Oh, don't tell anybody about me. He looks like he wants to fucking put a lotion on the skin. Take this for a shit take. I wish could take. PSH getting buried. <laughs> what did he do to get taken? He already out? died once. He Jesus. died once. I'm, I'm, bar I'm pissing on his just grave buried right buried him now. again. Sir. Well, um... Who else do I hate? <laughs> I used to hate Forrest Whitaker for a long time. Is it for the reason that I think? Yes. I, <laughs> this fucking wonky eye. I can't help it. <laughs> That's terrible. What? I just, you never know Why where to look. So you never know where to look. And hold on, ready? I'll do this. <laughs> no, no. no, 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 no. What are you talking about? <laughs> Jesus I can't think of a, I don't know if I'm like a, it's not a real like line that, but actually, you know what? Uh, you know what? I know what it was when it, I know what it was. And this is another movie we could have watched for Freak Out Driving was Species. Remember when he's in Species? Oh, I love that movie. And he plays like the empath. And I was like, it's the first time I ever heard of a, because when I was a kid, I, 
<laughs> this is actually fucking stupid. When I was in sixth grade, for some no, was it fifth grade or sixth grade? I can't remember. We got like superlatives because we were supposed to be like graduating from like grade school. Oh yeah. And I got most empathetic, which is like such a fucking like like gay thing to get when you're in fifth grade. Like <laughs> I should have known then, right? And um and I remember like he was an empath and I was like, you mean you could make a career out of being empathetic? And I didn't realize what an empath was when the species came out. But again, it's basically the same thing. Like he just feels fucking things like <laughs> that's why I hate whenever there's a fucking mutant that has empathy powers. It's like enough. It's just whatever. But yeah, sorry, Tim. I don't mean to upset you, <laughs> but it's Tim Capel's listening. Or anybody. But, really. or anybody. Or anybody. Or anybody. <laughs> but I don't mean to offend anybody. But it's true. Like, I just couldn't stand Philip Seymour Hoffman or Forrest Whitaker. I did go back and reevaluate Forrest Whitaker's body of work. Um, oh, okay. And I realized that, okay, he's not that. I mean, well, he saw Guerrera, and I, I, I can't shit on a guy that's awesome in Star Wars and a Star yeah. Wars extended mm -hmm. universe. And, he is in Good Morning Vietnam, which is like a fucking amazing movie. So, and there's been other things that Forrest Whitaker's been in that I I do like. Actually, you know what movie? Which speaking of, he's got Jodie Foster. You ever see um Panic Room? <laughs> he's fucking awesome in Panic Room. Yeah, yeah. Snowden meets the <laughs> <laughs> Chad. Woo, Chad Campbell. He was more than meets the eye when I watched him again. You bet your bippy he was. No, but when he's in Panic Room, he's really good in Panic Room. I like Panic Room. Although I did think that Kristen Stewart was a boy the whole movie. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a little girl. I thought it was a little boy. <laughs> I must have missed the part where, like, <clears throat> she was introduced as her daughter. That was one of those movies I think I turned it on, like, right after they announced that it was a daughter. And the whole movie, I'm like, I'm the whole time, I'm like... Oh, this little boy's got diabetes. He's going to have an insulin <laughs> issue. And and then at the end of the movie, it's like Kristen Stewart. I was like, that was a girl? So. Wow. We're not talking about this movie yeah. at all. We're watching along with people. We're not arriving. Very sultry right here. In the, yeah, uh, she, she looks in the amazing. Actually, a cool movie. are they in a Wawa's? That looks like the Wawa we were at in Philly. Oh, uh, shit, it does look like Wawa. Philly. <laughs> Um, I don't know if Wawa has existed then, but I don't know either. We have to ask, we have to ask Sean. He's the, yeah. he's the, uh, he's the master of all Wawa's. But yeah, look at her. She kind of looks a little slutty right here with, uh, actually, who does she kind of, she she's, she's, she's not slutty. She's not slutty. She's, she's wearing her own. She's, she's wearing it. She's feeling it. Mm -hmm. But she looks great. I love Winona Ryder. Look at her though. She's real cute. Yeah, right here is the beginning where she says, I really don't like her friends. And that's when Christian Slater decides to become a psycho. And mm -hmm. he's going to kill all of the Heathers. So um, I do want to say that there are some trivia. You want some trivia on this movie? Yeah, I was just trying to think if there was anybody that I hated as much as you hate. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, oh, oh, yeah. I can tell you more. I hate I hate Kathy Griffin. Um, okay. Her voice well, is annoying. Thankfully, she doesn't do much. But like. She really pisses me off. And then whenever, like, the whole thing with Trump happened where she, like, held up that, I was like, oh, God. I'm like, they're wasting airtime talking about Kathy Griffin. Like, yeah. Yeah, literally. Um, it was so stupid. And she's a bad comedian, too. Like, you know who was like that? Remember, like, Lisa Lampanelli? Yeah. Like, I hated Lisa Lampanelli because, like, Lisa Lampanelli was just, like, she just went up there and she's like, I have sex with black guys and you're fat and you're ugly. It's like, that's not comedy. That's just being stupid. Yeah, it's kind of like how. Yeah, The Rock is like my most hated. Chad's right about yeah, that. Chad's but like, well, I don't, I'm trying to think if there's anybody to that level, and isn't well, it weird? That you I know, let's think? let's think about it this way: your hate for The Rock, like that, can ruin any movie that he shows it. Like, have you ever seen the other guys? Yeah, it sucks. Wow, and he's only in it for like five minutes. Mm -hmm. Wow. And that's a good movie because Mark Wahlberg is really good in that, as well as Will Ferrell. Mm. There's like, so what about like, um, I'm trying to think, like, who's like actors that nobody really likes genuinely? Um, like their acting style. Like, does like Tom Cruise irritate you? 
No, I love Tom Cruise. Okay. Um, I'm a mark for Tom Cruise. What about so, like... The internet says Hayden Christensen. Everybody hates him. I yeah. feel like he's... I don't know. I feel like we're all past it. But maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, no. He, maybe people still hate him. No, they can't. Um, no one's ever seen Broken Glass. He's so good in that movie. Catherine um, Heigl. Catherine Heigl. Everybody said she was a... a yeah. Cunt. Yeah, Catherine Heigl. Who, yeah. But I don't know. I don't I don't hate her. Um Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, yes. I'm gonna Steven Seagal this um ice cream that's melting, this uh, <laughs> strawberry cheesecake, Ben and Jerry's pint. I'm gonna do like Steven Seagal and eat this whole pint. He definitely eats Ben and Jerry's for sure. Chad said Chris Farley. No, Chris Farley's beloved. I don't think anybody Maybe hates Chad him. hates Chris Farley. I don't think so. Really? Does he? Do you, Chad? No. Um, How can anybody hate Chris Farley, though? That's a good one, though, because, like, you could think of, like, former Saturday Night Live cast members. Like, what do you think of, like, Billy Crystal? I, I have a soft spot for um, City Slickers. Mm -hmm. um, from when I was growing up, I don't know why. Um, but, you know, not like any of the when Harry met Sally, I don't give a shit about that movie. Oh, yeah. Like, um, but I do weirdly like him in that one movie. Which one? City, City Slickers. Slickers? What about yeah. City Slickers 2? The Legend of Curly's Gold. <laughs> that one, that one counts as well. I don't know. That, movie, that movie's so much better. You know why? Why? Ron Lovitz is in it. Yeah, that's true. I do love me some John Lovitz. <laughs> Oh, here's a good one. What about Bruce Willis? See, I like Bruce Willis. Oh, shit, I got ice cream on me, Jenny. <laughs> oh, no. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> Baby, what are you doing? Well, thankfully, she won't watch this. <laughs> she won't listen to it. What's Heathers? Is that a movie? <laughs> Who's in that? We're not even watching it, but yeah. Well, a bluebird, you were a brownie, you were a bluebird, you were a Girl Scout cookie. Heather, main Heather is yelling at Veronica right now. Yeah, she got she got puked on. Because she got thrown up on, yeah. yeah. So Heather's a bitch. This Heather died, actually, you know that? This actress? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had like... I so did like, Shannon Doherty. Shannon Doherty did die. Oh, Shannon Doherty. I don't know. R.I.P. That sucks. Oh my god. Uh, Chad finds Chris Farley polarizing because he overacts. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's why I like him because he overacts. What about like Sean Connery? I don't hate him, but I'm not a big fan. How about Gwyneth Paltrow? Now, like she I <laughs> I used to love that movie Shakespeare in Love. <laughs> oh God, that's the fucking that's the one movie everybody quotes for like how much they hate <laughs> it. It was so dumb, but I used to love it so much. It, it's just like how I love bad wrestling. Okay, so it's the same thing. Um, but then, I mean, yeah, I mean she gets weird, but like I like her as Pepper Potts in the MCU. Sure. Um, what about yeah, like um, how about Jonah Hill or? I like Jonah. I mean, I feel like he probably is a douchebag in real life, but I don't know him in real life, so I'm not going to judge him. <laughs> He's not going to be a douchebag to me, so I don't know. Ooh. And I like, about, like movies for the most part. What about most of the cast of that 70s show? Okay, well, that's when it gets tricky, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, there we go. Like, Ashton Kutcher, no thanks. I'm all set. Like, yep. not a fan. There we mm -hmm. go. That's somebody I don't give a fuck about. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he sucks. He sucks. Christian Slater what? and uh, Winona Ryder having sex at this moment. Oh yeah, that's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. oh, and she's like making out with them after she threw up. Have oh, you ever done that? Oh no. Good. No. Oh, they're gonna make themselves a little hangover. Cute. Oh, hey now. Yeah, what are they gonna make? I think this is when she puts the uh, when he puts the Drano in, right? 
What a way to go, man. That's fucking crazy. Oh, we were, we wouldn't want to kill her or anything. Look at young Christian Slater. Apparently he apparently he uh wanted to be he 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 modeled his acting performance in this movie after Jack Nicholson. Yeah, that definitely comes across. Yeah. He and looks then, like um, a young Jack. He does kind of look like a young Jack Nicholson. I think he still kind of does. This ice cream's like almost all melted now, so I'm just like drinking. Oh, delicious. It's, it's so good though. It's like a it's like a it's like a frap, a frappe. Oh, bye, Chad. He's heading off to trivia now. Thanks for watching, Chad. And for the laughs. Good luck at trivia. Yeah, I hope you win. <laughs> Chad. What kind of trivia do you think Chad does? Do you think he does like pop trivia or do you think he does like sports? Sports. sports. I want to do sports trivia. Um, you know what team won the NCAA basketball championship in nineteen ninety five? So the the name of the cleaner was Hall Clean. Hall which, Clean, mm -hmm. which is what? What is that like? Um, Hall. I, I think of a boat. You know, there is a city called Hull in Massachusetts, but I don't think that mm. that's what it's from. Hull, yeah, oh, that's weird. like Hall. Yeah, it's Hall, Massachusetts. I think it's probably absolutely uh, Hall for like Hull for boats or something. Yeah, for sure. Oh, uh, there's Heather. So, what was the what? There was some switcheroo with the cup, like. Yeah. So he made the drink, and they, Veronica's like, we can't kill her. Mm -hmm. And then I think Christian Slater switched the cups. Right. Well, she, she, without looking, she grabbed a cup and then he noticed it. And then. Oh. Or something like that. A my contacts are like sticking to my eyeballs. She me said, nuts. what did you spit a phlegm globber in it? Which they did. <laughs> but. Actually, she drinks the one that they didn't spit in because she drinks the one with the poison in it. It puts the lotion on the skin. There's just like too much emphasis on like the drinking and the cups and mm -hmm. like it's so so cheesy, but kind of great. Very soapy. Yes. Much, very much soapy. <laughs> Well, I think in a oh, oh a look at her blue teeth and blue oh shit yeah. she batters the glass she she pulled a GCW yeah that was a great great bump <laughs> it was a great bump <laughs> she did mm -hmm. she did she died of the dehydration mm -hmm. dysentery yep dysentery <laughs> along the Oregon Trail. <laughs> Yeah, now this is where things start to go off the rails. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I got like another little piece of trivia mm -hmm. that um, apparently Winona Ryder's agent begged her not to be in this movie, stating mm -hmm. her career would be over. Why? I don't know. Just that the movie wasn't going to do well or be good? Yes. Hmm. And that apparently the same week that she received a, this script, a student from her high school committed suicide. Oh. And that only inspired her to do the movie more. Oh. Well, yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Shannon Doherty said she had problems saying the profanities in the script because of her conservative upbringing. She said she couldn't keep a straight face. And as a result, she smirks when she says, Veronica, why are you pulling my dick? <laughs> <laughs> I would be laughing at that anyway. <laughs> that's a great line. Um, oh, that's funny. It says, at one point, Shannon Doherty confronted a married crew member who was having an affair with an underage extra. According, to, Yeah, according to Doherty, this was the first time anyone had ever heard, 
ever called her a bitch. Oh, I wonder yeah. why. Yeah, which is funny because, uh, yeah, isn't that like what she was known for pretty much throughout her career? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Well, we would need to get some um, 902 on no-so mm. experts on this. Yep. What would you do if you poisoned someone to death? Would you try to cover it up? I mean, or turn yourself in. I don't know. That's a good question. Like, I'm really scared of going to prison. Uh, as like, you should be. Really scared. But I'm pretty sure that I if am I too. Ever, I'm pretty sure if I ever did anything that would warrant me to go to prison, I would literally be like, "Listen, I, you can confine me to my fucking bedroom." At my house, and I will not leave my bedroom. Just don't send me to federal pound me in the ass prison. I That's cannot true. do it. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. But uh, yeah. So I mean, I guess I would try to cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I probably would too. Do you have a go-to person that would help you do that? And and I mean, oddly enough, it would, probably, it would probably be the same person I would probably poison, which would be my brother. <laughs> kind of shit out of luck on that one yep. uh, mm -hmm. no I mean no I don't know anybody I don't know if I trust anybody I mean nobody like I'm pretty sure I could have I'm pretty sure I could trust you but uh, I'm not local so you're not local enough for me. Yeah. yeah I mean I'd have to fly to I mean basically you and I would have to do like a uh, like a like murders on a train or crisscross strangers <laughs> on a train where like I kill somebody for you in Florida, and you'd kill somebody for me up here. Oh, no, that could work. Yeah. Oh wait, um, I would never do <laughs> that. Not anymore. It can't yeah. work now. <laughs> but like, yeah. well, yeah. I mean, it would have been fun. Um, because then we could be each other's alibi, right? That's right. No, yeah. she was with me, officer. Mm -hmm. Or I was with her. Then I just move along, right? And. I mean, we'd be okay up until this episode of Freak Out Driving comes out. <laughs> well, and, and it's going to be listened to about, you know, millions of people, so. Mm -hmm. Well. Like an asshole, I just totally killed that fucking pint of ice cream. <laughs> I bet it was good. It really helped my type 2 diabetes. Uh, <laughs> well, fucking, the fucking Shannon Doherty, Heather... Is eating a chicken wing in the fucking locker room. That's fucking gross. <laughs> what Ugh. the fuck? Oh, fucking hair is floating around in there. <laughs> and she just threw the wing over her shoulder. So, yeah. Probably in the fucking Martha dump trucks waiting hands. Yeah, probably so. Mm. And I'm finishing off my ice cream with some nice iced tea. Mm, delicious. Not sweet, not sweet tea, just regular iced tea, though. Well, that I don't get you canceled in the South. Really? Like, can you? Do you have to drink sweet tea? I mean, I don't just anymore. I don't drink sweet tea anymore because I switched off of all the sugar drinks or whatever. So, oh. uh, yeah, sadly, it's just I, I'm not gonna drink unsweetened tea. Like that's disgusting. Really? Yeah, no, that's not happening. Now this this point here, Veronica, who is I'm assuming riddled with guilt, because she well, hasn't fully yeah, yeah. embraced the murderous rage that is in her, mm -hmm. was uh, walked took one of her swatches, one of Heather's swatches that was left in the locker, and went into the shower and just took a fully clothed shower in the gymnasium in the uh, locker room. As you do, and when you're full of you know grief and yeah remorse. Did you ever have a classroom like this where like people would sit in a circle? No, we never really did that. Maybe then, if we were doing something special or we're in groups or something like that. Yeah. But no, we never really did that. Mm. We never had colors on the wall or like couches or anything. No, you never had anything like that. Mm -mm. Did you even have like a like was there like one teacher that you would say was like a cool teacher? There were a couple that were kind of cool, but nobody like 
Yeah, and it also depended on who you were too. Like that was a big deal. Yeah. Um, so like if you were part of a certain crowd, you would get treated a certain way, uh, and that that they would be cool to them or whatever. But like, yeah, I don't know. Not really. What about you? Um, we had some pretty decent teachers, like, but similar to you where it's like you had to be in a certain group in order to like get the benefits of that. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, like we had one teacher who like was known for like throwing parties and like letting students come over to his house and like party, you know? Okay. Well, that's insane. Yeah, that was insane. And, uh. And maybe if I had taken his class, maybe it would have, I would have been able to go like one of those, but I didn't take his class. So, and then, I mean, it was all, I mean, my high school had some scandals going on. Um, mm -hmm. Like when my mom went to my, when my mom, cause my mother went to the same high school I did just 30 years before me. But like mm -hmm. when my mother graduated, one of the students that she graduated high school with married one of the teachers that was teaching there. Oh, it was like a guy married like the female teacher and she was still teaching there when I got there. So she was probably like, you know, like within her first or second year of teaching mm -hmm. and then married a student that probably just turned 18. And that's kind of scandalous. But that never no one ever really said anything because it was like, like they didn't start dating until after he turned 18. But like, you know, when you're showing up knocking on the door on the 18th birthday saying like hey let's get going like yeah you know there's yeah. been a lot of prep work going on earlier than that so yeah but uh no we had some teachers that were like we had one teacher her name was miss gonzalez gonzalez miss gonzalez mm -hmm. she was like she was kind of like the hippie teacher who was just like everybody loved her and we didn't have she didn't have regular class like we had tables like when you go sit in a room i took Film and video, film and video senior year, and I had her mm -hmm. film and video, and that was like, she was pretty cool. She liked me. She liked mm -hmm. me. You know? Of course. Yeah, she was nice. I liked her. She was like an English teacher, though. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it, though. It wasn't really all that fun. I had a lot of teachers who were like towards the end of their career, so mm -hmm. they were they were really phoning it in, you know. <laughs> yeah. I had yeah, one. Yeah, I know exactly the type you mean. Yeah. I had, oh my God, my physics teacher, we'd walk in on Monday morning. He would have the weekly quiz on the board and with the answers. And then we'd have to like, we, our, our assignment was to write the quiz and like memorize the quiz. And then on Friday, he would just erase the answers. And you figured it out like after the first week that if you really wrote in very good handwriting, and then kept the piece of paper with the answers like nice in your notebook for the week. On Friday, you could just take the piece of paper out and just pass it in the week. So we all got A's. Like everybody got A's. Like his. There his, you go. Uh, yeah, it was so bad. We didn't learn a damn thing. <laughs> yeah, it was stupid. A damn thing. We didn't learn a damn thing. And I had a friend who like he majored in physics in college. What? Because he, he aced physics in high school. And I remember like being like, oh man, you what are you doing? You're going to fail. And like, he flunked out of college, like first semester freshman year. Cause he was like, I don't know a damn thing about physics. Like <laughs> e equals MC. What? Like, it was just so stupid. Oh, this Heather has carnations at her funeral. Ugh. How do you feel about that? Carnation instant breakfast. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people feel that carnations are inferior flowers. Or it could be a southern bias that I have. It may just be a weird thing that I have. Hmm. I no. would not want carnations at my funeral. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, they can be as like part of an arrangement, but the whole arrangement can't be. There. I'm trying to think. I think my mom hates lilies. Oh well, that's crazy. But. Lilies are the best flower. And fucking tracks. That's crazy. My mother's crazy. Um, hmm. Hey, you know what's a maybe this is just a my family thing from the south. I don't know. 
has your family do they take pictures of the person in the casket um it has been known to be done yes it is not my favorite and no it's not it's kind of weird right it's kind of awful i yeah it's cringe and like when my dad died and like his family came up from south carolina my mother was like can you guys like let me leave before you start taking pictures of like a glamour shots of my father yeah. in the coffin and we yeah. all like left like we all got out of the room while they sat mm -hmm. in there and took like mm -hmm. however many photos they had to take or whatever it was kind of weird but yeah it's not but, great no it is kind of like why what is that do you know what that is like is it just a southern thing it might be i think it might be just a morbid thing I, yeah I don't, some people just have that i don't know like I think they want they don't want to stand there and mm. look at it in front of everybody, but they want to see a dead body and they can go into the picture and look at it anytime they want. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. I could be being weird about that too, but I don't know. It feels like people just have that fascination with death, but it's also you gotta kind of keep it on the down low. You can't be right. weird about it <laughs> at the funeral and be like staring at your dead relative but people like hug on hug on him sometimes right and kiss yeah, them and yeah i mean that's yeah I, i'm trying to think i can't with that as much as i am a creepy person um no thank i'm trying you. to i'm trying to remember i don't know if i like i don't know if i like kissed my dad like on the cheek or whatever like when he was in the i don't remember i don't think i did i might have gone like like that you know i don't know I don't really kiss my dad anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And I can't um, I can't really remember any other time that there was like a like I had like a great aunt who passed away and everything. But like by the time I was like old enough, like like my grand like my last grandparent died when I was four. So I mean I didn't really have anything like that, you know. And then I'm trying to think, like, I didn't have any other relatives really that died that I would have been that close to you know yeah i haven't been to that many funerals yeah luckily i guess <laughs> and i mean my mother is like my mother has given me very explicit instructions about like what to do with her like we're not oh, allowed to, really? she doesn't want an open casket she wants okay. to be cremated and if we can put the urn like on a table and like everybody can you know we have Was to that that urn that's the urn. That's what's going to be in this <laughs> shark week. The shark week. The shark that's week. what my mom would get buried in. Your vines, right? fucking mug. But like, we can put it on. A, we can like. I don't want any pictures of me when I was heavy. I don't want any pictures of that. Like, you got to pick pictures when I was thin. Uh, okay. okay. Well, that's reasonable. Yeah. So I can pick pictures from when before my mother got married, and then after my mother had the stomach <laughs> surgery. Like you know. <laughs> Like there she can have pictures of her as 18, 16, and then 650. Right. That's it. No pictures. Are... No pictures between 22 and didn't 49. Nope. Didn't exist. Nope. And uh and then like and then she wants me to take all of her purses, or she calls them pocketbooks. Okay. And put them take all the pocketbooks and put them out and tell everybody they can take a pocketbook. And I go, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I said, how about I just put you in the pocketbooks? Like, I'll sprinkle <laughs> the ashes in the pocketbooks. There you go. Just can, have a little yeah. bit. And then she said she wants to be, she wants her ashes. She used to say she wanted her ashes spread at QVC, <laughs> which is like, <clears throat> which makes total sense. But now she's like, oh, just put them in the grave where my parents are. And uh, uh, Okay. Put the ashes in the grave? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean, the thing is, is it's my mother's favorite topic is her death. She loves talking about oh, her. Life. Like, okay. I tell her I'm going to have her like confirmed <clears throat> and like stuffed and like put in the corner of my oh, yeah. dining room. Why not? <laughs> or, they let people do that for sure, right? Yeah. Or just hang her on a big wooden cross like in my in my mm -hmm. living room, you know, so she can watch down on us all the time. Like, yeah. Does she really talk about it a lot? She loves talking about her death. Are you kidding me? It's her favorite topic. She's really? like, yeah. I'm not kidding. My mother loves to call and goes, hey, guess who's got cancer? Like, she loves telling death and 
My, my father, oh, well, yeah. my father-in-law was like that. The only time my father, like my ex-wife, used to be like, "Oh shit, my father's calling. Somebody must have died." Right. And then yeah. She the phone. She'd be like, "What's going on, Papa? Who died?" Oh, Emma, Emma, you know, uh, Joey, Joey, Joey Shubadu from town died the other day. Like he would always tell us who died. It was just yep. like, yeah, yeah. I, I have one of those in my family as well. Yeah, some people are like they love that. Wow. Well, it's the only thing they can. It's the only thing they get to look forward to now is their death. Like my mother doesn't have anything else to look forward to. <laughs> oh, Katie, come on. it doesn't. I don't know what. Oh, I'm getting the new package from QVC's coming in. Get the fucking cat in the background. Get down. <laughs> cats everywhere and Legos and. She has you to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, fucking me. Um, that you're her favorite. I am her favorite. Yes. And I love my mother. I do. She's a good woman. She's not listening to this, I hope. I'm not telling her I'm doing this. She won't listen anyway. She'll go, you do doing I'm gonna a show? It. I'm going to send it to her. Don't. Please don't. She loves you, though. Oh, my God. She goes, she sounds so sweet. Like, when she, <laughs> listened to the, she listened to the last show where you were on at the pool. Oh, she sounds like she's such a sweetheart. I go, she is, Mom. She's a sweetheart. She's a wonderful, wonderful girl. <laughs> I feel like if you ever come back up this way, I have to bring you to meet her. <laughs> uh oh, that's happening for and sure. And then you would be like, I'm getting know. a selfie with Carol. <laughs> you want to hit? Yeah, you could say my name is Carol too. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be. Yeah, she would. She would love you. Oh my god. She used to. Well, because she used to work at the paper store. You guys have paper stores? Do you have a paper store down there near you? Is that like a stationary it's store? The Hallmark, like you know the Hallmarks. Oh, okay, like, yeah, Jesus. yeah. Hallmark paper the store. Hallmark paper store. But she used to work at the paper store, and when my friend Sarah would go in, she would freak out and be like, "Sarah, <laughs> my Casey," and all that <laughs> nonsense. So yeah, but oh, so now it looks to me like Heather's writing another suicide note. Oh yeah. They oh, else. oh, and I think this is oh, this is their aren't they planning on killing the two guys? Yeah, they're yeah. setting up a little um, what a they call a, a, a bit of a, a gay love triangle, like murder yeah. suicide, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is great. This is a great little slice of what of what heterosexuals thought homosexuals were really into back in the mm -hmm. 80s, exactly like mineral water and uh. Uh, it looks like Fiero Rocher candies. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love this stuff? Like I don't if get. You it. Ate, if you ate, why is that stuff gay? I don't if know. You ate Fiero Rocher candy. If you're into hazelnut you're candies, you're definitely a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. So. But these guys really were right, weren't they? Really, or were? I don't remember the thread on. You know what? Or maybe, maybe the one guy is. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna find out right here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like there is like a big expose, like expose, expo, <laughs> expose, expose on this. Like, oh, he's got them in the circle. Oh God. Oh, rip your clothes off me, sport. Look at okay. this. Now, this guy here, I think his name is Ram in this. Ram, He yeah. was in Summer School. Do you remember Summer School yeah. with, like, Mark Harmon? Yeah, vaguely. Yeah. He was in that. He was um, cute in that. Yeah. It's like, what are we doing? Yeah, this is a... Oh, my God. Imagine you get stripped down to your underwear in the woods and you get shot. And then you get away. Oh, so she doesn't realize she doesn't realize he's killing them all. I guess not. I don't know how she missed that in the plot to kill them both. Yeah, he fucking shot him like right in the throat. Yeah. Well, this poor guy's got a busted up knee from playing foosball, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's like at what point does Heather realize that like this guy's a fucking nut job? Probably the end, right? 
I think she's probably already aware of it. Yeah. Wow, what are you pointing at him for? Just shoot. Right. I wonder if this guy died with like a massive boner. You think he did? Uh yeah, he was definitely thought he was getting his dick sucked. Yeah. God, I hope I have to read the um fucking wiki. I would love to die with a massive boner. <laughs> probably, the last, probably, the last, probably the last time I'd have a massive boner. <laughs> I wonder how long it lasts. Probably not long. What, your massive boner? Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends. Like if Riga starts setting in, Riga Morta, you know? Um, but you need blood pumping, right? In order to maintain... I think in order to maintain, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you know that Tori Spelling saw this film and recommended Shannon Doherty to her father to be in uh, one of the new show, one of the lead roles about a new show about high school students in a uh, little known town of Beverly Hills? I think I did know that. Oh, Lisa Ann Falk, who played Heather McNamara, so the third Heather, she actually lied about her age to get cast in this role. She said she was older? Uh, I just lost it. Uh, no. She claimed to be 18. Oh. She was actually 23. Oh, okay. And apparently the first film and the first scene in the film was actually the last scene to be shot. And by that point, she had already cut her hair, so she had to wear a wig. Oh, yeah. That happens a lot. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brad Pitt auditioned for the role of Jason J.D. Dean. <laughs> he was rejected because he was considered too nice. Oh. Uh, Brad Pitt would later star with Christian Slater in Interview with the Vampire. Yeah, And for Romance. Oh, that's a great another great movie, but he's yeah. not in it that much. Brad Pitt? No, um, Christian Slater is not in that movie that much. No, I thought Christian Slater stars in. Oh, you're not talking about Interview with a Vampire. Interview with a Vampire. Oh, I thought you were talking about True Romance. No. Yeah, yeah he's only in. He plays the. Uh, the he's the author or whatever mm -hmm. the guy that's interviewing him. Reporter guy. Yeah, reporter guy. This staging, staging that they did for uh, these murders are very it's dumb. Great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Seems great. And I love this. They, he pulls, oh out, the, my he God. pulls out the mineral water. Oh, my God. Oh, man. They were fags. Oh, <laughs> like, God. How fucking awesome is that? Like, he pulls out the mineral water, and they immediately recognize that they were gay. So, yeah. Oh. The quarterback buggering the linebacker. That's a great line. <laughs> buggering. Man, so they kill like a bunch of people in this movie. Yeah, they do. And they seem fairly unbothered. I don't know. She seems a little bothered, but yeah, she's not as much as she should be. No, she is definitely handling it in stride. Like he's he's totally into it. Yeah. Um, she's like okay i guess you know but she said so we killed them didn't we yeah but she's not <laughs> freaking out it's really funny because when i read that thing about him modeling after jack nicholson i can't get it out of my head that he's basically jack nicholson in every role yep every part of this performance is just like hey Oh man, he lights his cigarette off her oh, burn. That's, that's not something that can happen. That is so fucked up and that also is up. impossible. Do you, have you ever gotten burned by one of those little car cigarette letter things? The old school push button. I don't know what's it called. Yeah, cigarette lighter. Yeah. Um, I think so. Here's a good thing. Have you ever been to a concert and hold on a minute. You do the old Zippo thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then you burn the fuck out of yourself on your yeah. lighter. Yeah, for sure. I've done that a lot. 
That's why I'm glad everybody switched to phones. Well, that's why, like, I love the fact that, you know, for cigar smoking, I have, like, the torch lighter. Mm -hmm. And you can use that to light several things. Yeah. And you don't burn yourself usually. So That's true. Mm -hmm. I need to actually get one of the torch lighters for the beach. Of course. Trying to light anything on the beach is a pain in the ass. Yep, absolutely. You should get um, Zycar is the... Uh, Zycar, X I X A R X I K A R X I K A R. I think that's the, okay. company, that's the company I use, and they're real good. Okay. They bear these motherfuckers with their helmets on in a double funeral. Pansy, can you imagine? Literally, like three minutes after they just got murdered, mm -hmm. they were at the funeral filled with carnations again. Nobody cares about their children. White carnation girls. I yeah. love my gay. I love my gay dead son. Oh, the poor sister. She lost her brother. See Heather. Not Heather. See Veronica. You don't realize the repercussions of who you're hurting with these murders. You might be killing horrible pieces of shit, but you know there's still people right mm -hmm. why does she have a monocle though i don't know it's fucking so good though she's got like a handle of vodka next to her too like she's yeah like... she's just like journaling aggressively oh look at her friggin her little like bedside table it's got all the punctuations were like the handles mm -hmm. to open up the Thing. That's like really smart. It was like an exclamation point and a colon and a semicolon. Do you think she kept her tampons and the one that opened up with a period? Probably so. That's what I would do. <laughs> That's a, that was a bad joke, and I should I should apologize for that. <laughs> you won't though. I am sorry. That was a bad joke. I should I, I I'm I'm much better than that. So that was a, I don't know. That was a Chad Chamble joke. A Chad, 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 Chad Chamble. Chamble. Chad Chamble joke. <laughs> so let me see. There's something in here that's interesting. Um, okay, so. Oh, my God. Oof, the school is like imploding from the death of these um, popular children. You know, well, there's yeah. no, there's no more hierarchy in in school, so nobody knows what to do. Well, the TV crew. Apparently, there's a murderer about. Nobody's worried about the safety of these children. I guess no. They didn't kill other Heather yet, right? Not yet. Third Heather, just just the ones dead. Mm -hmm. Those fish sticks. Yeah, they're all together. I mean, this would be a serious thing. This is kind of like in Scream, how I was thinking that too. Like they're still going to high school when like there's all these murders happening. Well, they at least like put the. Curfew into effect and all that kind of shit. Well, they yeah. try to, but. Yeah. Oh, you know why? It's because they all think it's suicide. So. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. They, they're yeah. not afraid of a the murder. Cops are stupid. Yeah. So. No, a big fucking meteor killed the dinosaurs, pal. What is she? What are they arguing about? Like whether they should continue to kill more people, or the fact that they already killed people? I think they're arguing about the fact that 
maybe that like he she's not as excited as he is i guess yeah like it just seems like they're at odds but not but they're also in it together so yeah, like I, I don't like, understand what the conflict it's is. Okay, it's okay for us to be killing people, but we should not be so excited about it. Oh, so okay. <laughs> that okay. <laughs> oh, look at see. How about how about don't kill people if you're not gonna get excited about it? Well, you know. I want my murderer to be, you know, enthusiastic about my my murder. Um, right. Like at least if somebody's gonna kill me, put a little effort into it. Exactly. Like, I just ask one thing if I'm ever going to be killed, and that's I don't want to feel any pain. So make it real fast and make it real fatal. Like, I can't be a survivor. Well, that limits your possibilities. No, like, you can shoot me in the head. Like, I can. Okay, you, know. you want that. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want to be like, like, I don't want to be. I don't want to be sawed. Like, you know, like anything in saw. Like, uh -huh. or, uh, like, don't time you a trail, like a, like a train track or something. Like, okay. You know, I want it to be fast and quick and painless. Do you feel that a gunshot wound, a gunshot to the head is instantly fatal and you don't feel anything? I don't know. I mean, yeah. if movies have taught me anything, it's that all death is wrong. Mm, so every, the way you die in a movie is not how it is in real life. So I don't Knowing know. Me, I'd like somehow survive the fucking gunshot. That's wound. what I'm saying. Like, that's, yeah. yeah. Like, that's why, like, I would never, you know, I mean, I would never try to end it anyway because no you know, i i find it far too entertaining in this world to to ever want to leave but uh you know yeah if i tried it would probably have been like i would have fucked it up and i would have sounded like philip seymour hoffman like, <laughs> journey. welcome to all cart recruiting where <laughs> this week we're going to talk about what the oscars say about the movies you <laughs> like this year well, so he tried to make out with her, and she got mad, and then she got she like yeah. told him to fuck off. So, well, because she's done with him, she doesn't yeah. want to be with him anymore. No more murders. Mm -hmm. Oh, now he's blackmailing the other Heather, Shannon. Mm -hmm. A picture of her with uh, Martha, Martha dump, dump truck. truck yeah. She can't have that, Keithy. I don't want your money. I want you like I can't even my Christmas Slater is gonna come out like a you can you can I don't wanna hurt you. I just wanna bash your brains in. Like it's the eyebrows, especially like yeah. the mouth and the nose. He um, is like a fucking baby, yeah, baby very, Jack Nicholson. Very similar. like if I didn't know any better, I would think that Jack Nicholson was actually his dad. Mm -hmm. You know, did you know that Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey might be like half brothers? Hmm. Like in real life. Like okay. I think, I, I think because I think there's a story that. I think Woody Harrelson's paternity is, I think, like, up in the air. Like, he's not really sure if he knows who his dad is. And, um, or it's the other way around. Mm. Um, maybe it's the other way around where, like, because it says, like, his, because I'm looking it up. His dad is, his dad's, like, a convicted organized crime killer right that's what i was thinking yeah contract killer and i think that the story then is yeah his dad so woody harrelson's father could be matthew mcconaughey's father okay yeah because like i guess like maybe his his dad it's a little hazy on who his father really is hmm. and uh apparently around the time that Matthew McConaughey was conceived. She actually, his mother knew um, the Woody's father. Okay. And like, so I'm, I'm guessing she claimed that she may have had relations with Woody Harrelson's dad. <laughs> and so they might be half brothers. I was if, thinking that it would be on the dad's side, not the mom's side, but maybe that's wrong. It's the dad side, yeah. Woody Harrelson's dad might be might be Matthew McConaughey's dad. Okay, but yeah. 
through the dad, not yes. through the mom. Not through the mom. No. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. So that's kind of cuckoo. What do you play croquet? Isn't that the name of the stupid game there? Yeah, no, I've never played anything like this. Croquet? Uh, croquet? Croquet. Like, I believe croquet, croquet are the food and croquet. That's is the what food. I was about to say. I, I'm like, I, I don't know. I, it's a rich person game. I've never played that. I can't even play golf right. I can play like mini golf, but every time I try to play like regular golf, I, like, it's, you know, it's mm. not, I'm not real good at it, but. I remember we had a set growing up, but like I couldn't remember why because none of us liked to play it or knew how to play it. We just like, would, I don't know. I guess maybe somebody picked it up for cheap somewhere. <laughs> it was like, like, why do we have this? <laughs> there's a there's a big thing that like a lot of people play. It's called um, bocce. Mm -hmm. That's like a that's like a big Italian like Italians play bocce. Yeah, I don't know how to play that either. Yeah. So is that fun? Yeah, bocce is kind of like um, bocce is similar to like it's similar to like I think curling and like horseshoes oh. and stuff like that, where it's like you got to try to get the ball like in the certain sphere or whatever mm -hmm. like that. And I've only played it a couple times, and I'm terrible at everything, so it's yeah, it's real hard for me. To, oh God, no, you you laugh like seriously. You should see me try to play like freaking cornhole. Like when seriously, like the last time I played cornhole, I didn't even get a friggin' bag on the board. That's how bad <laughs> it was. Like people, like if a person, I'm like my partner. You don't like, have good aim, is what you're saying? No, no, not with that. Wow. Oddly enough, I was oddly enough, I was really good at archery. And oh, took, well, you can I, aim I, a little I took, bit. Then. I took archery in college, and I was really good at archery, mm -hmm. and I was really good at um, rifle when I was in scouts. When I was in Boy Scouts and I went to summer camp and I took rifle, I could shoot. So I always was like, I should have been like a marksman. But uh, yeah, I can't throw. I can't throw things for shit. I can't hit a ball. I can't hit a golf ball. I can't throw a football. Um, can't shoot baskets. Can't shoot baskets. No. Yeah, you saw that. I can't shoot yeah. baskets. You saw how bad I am. I'm just not athletically inclined. I'm much. I'm a much better coach. There you go. And as an old manager once said, you don't have to be the best hitter batting. No, you don't have to be the best batter to be the best batting coach. There you go. And I was like, yeah. Oh, no, it looks like Martha Dump Truck's going to try to commit suicide here. Another suicide person. This is so sad. What's going on in this town? They must live in Cleveland. They don't want to kill them. I know I would if I lived there. <laughs> Especially in that area we went to for that GCW show. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You I know, know I, I've been to the scummy parts of most of the cities that I've ever been to, which is a good handful. Because you're going to GCW show. And I think Cleveland was the worst I've ever seen. Well, it's because... And I know what it is, is we were in the area where um, it was just like all the industry had left. Every shred <laughs> of humanity had left. <laughs> well, it, it was, was no so There was no residential areas anyway, but you know. Oh, my God. I, I just had never seen and just block after block after block and no, no establishments of yeah. hardly any kind. Yeah. And the ones that did exist were very sketch. So it was, it was a, just, yeah, it was a bit sketch. Not good. Oh, well, so Martha didn't die. Martha didn't die. She <laughs> failed miserably at suicide. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. <laughs> oh, She's, Veronica slapped her, she slapped her face. out of her. Jesus Christ, you go, she's got suicide hotline on her diapers. Yeah, that was uh, wild. It's funny how it flips, right? Mm -hmm. Like, she is involved directly in the murders, but mm -hmm. then she's getting mad at everybody about the murders. Yes. But like, 
you are the murderer. So, well, like, why are you getting pissed at everybody else? Well, is she getting mad because it's like she thinks that everybody everybody's feeling sorry for these people that they're dying, but in reality, it's like they're killing them all. So it's like they shouldn't be feeling sorry for them, you know. Is oh, that I'm it? Heather's calling now. The name of a show is Hot Probs. Is that mm. what it said? I don't know. Like, is it? Sh is she mad because people are two faced and seem to care about the people? Yes. That are dying, but then they're the popular people, so everybody would care about them, except for Martha, who didn't even die. Well, I think it's because. Isn't everybody basically talking shit? Like, everybody talks shit about Heather and how, like, no one really liked Heather. And then right. Heather died. And now everybody's like, but oh, they were Heather. Still, yeah. Well, yeah. But the, she was still popular, though. I don't know. I don't Yeah. I'm losing the thread on the movie. <laughs> why everybody's mad. Well, I think, I don't know if there, nobody seems mad. I think the only one that's mad is, uh, is, Veronica and I think it's just because she's just she's pissed that like no one's getting no one's realizing that they're bad people and that they shouldn't be around anymore it just seems like everybody's feeling sorry sorry everyone's feeling sorry for the people that die sorry hmm. And it's and obviously like Heather uh, Doherty, whatever Shannon Doherty's name, <laughs> Heather Duke. Oh, it's funny her name. Heather, Heather Heather Duke is like now that she's like the alpha alpha queen, the alpha female. He's like she's the queen bee. She's like the queen bitch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, you're throwing your life away, Heather. So she just went in there and stopped her from taking a whole bunch of pills. Mm -hmm. And then was screaming at her about it. Yeah. Don't kill yourself. Let me kill you. Yeah, like. Lisa Ann Falk. That's who this is. And she was also in Say Anything. Uh, less than zero. Mm -hmm. Uh. And, like, nothing else I've ever really seen. Okay. Have you ever seen, like, Dead Silence? Oh, no. probably a, not. Sounds like a Steven Seagal movie. It's, yeah, it's a... Yeah. <laughs> it's three young students go into a holiday, which rapidly turns into horror as they hit and run a lonely hitchhiker in the desert. Oh, shit. I might have seen that. I've seen a bunch of dumbass horror movies. Mm. I never remember the names of them. Yeah, no. Okay, now why is the Heather and uh, old guy teaming up now? Christian Slater. What's his yeah. character's name? His name is Jason J.B. Dean. What's the petition for? This is to get, I think, a teeny bopper band to play prom. Oh, a teeny bopper band. Yeah. Okay. So I think what happened is once Heather Chandler died, Heather Duke became the queen bee, and now she's basking in the glory of her newfound, uh, not even popularity, but like power. Power, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what Christian Slater wanted. Is he wanted he wants her influence and power to like kind of, I guess, run the school. Mm -hmm. But see, I think what happened earlier is that. His dad had a commercial where he was like destroying an old building or something. And you see like Christian Slater kind of go, aha. And mm -hmm. I think what happens is, is that's where he gets the idea to blow up the school, blow up the school at the end. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. And he knows that if he gets the Queen Bee involved, everyone will follow along and then he can have multiple, uh, you know, 
multiple deaths. He can have maximum chaos. She just said, why are you such a mega bitch? And she said, because I can be. And then she said, why are you pulling my dick? Why are you pulling my dick? Why would a girl ever say that? It doesn't even make any fucking sense. Can you try using that in your everyday vernacular now? Like, can you try to tell somebody to morning? You should tell him in the morning when he's giving you shit about going to school. You'd be like, Ethan, why are you, why are you pulling my dick? I might do that. Honestly. He would probably go. He would probably what? laugh. What? Yeah. This weekend, he was telling me things that I can and cannot say. And there were very little things that I could say. And the teen vernacular uh i could still say uh slaps i could still say that because that's still kind of old anyway like me so oh like, okay i thought you were telling me he was telling you things about him that no. was like, oh so like you like could words say, what's another word you could, like what's a word that we're not allowed to say anymore oh there's a bunch like most of them like cap um, Riz. Oh, Riz is out of style now? Yeah. Well, it's just we can't say them. Like, the children can say them. Oh, okay. But we can't say them. Mm. I'm just, with it. I'm hip. Yeah. That's what we sound like to him. Well, whatever. <laughs> He's a little shit. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> No, yeah, Chase Chase gets all like that when, when we try to say things and, like, be stupid. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Is she having an intervention? I think so. It says, recognize the, recognize the handwriting. So somebody recognized th that she wrote the suicide notes. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, and it's got to be... That's big fun. That was on Martha Dump Truck. That on, yeah, that was on her shirt. So is this notice that Martha Dump Truck knows what's going on? I I don't know. <laughs> this movie makes no sense. <laughs> I feel like we're not talking it through good enough. I don't know. No, I am. I feel like we got... But whatever. We talked about other stuff. Somewhat. I mean... To neither love nor reverence. There's something that has to do with. There's something that like I read that like. There's a lot of like Moby Dick references that like there's like, and the reason why is they were originally going to use um to kill a mock not to kill a mockingbird catcher in the rye, but uh JD oh Sal gosh JD Salinger wouldn't sign off on it. Um, that so, sounds right. So they used Moby Dick because it's in like uh public domain. Mm -hmm. So. So, it, but it, yeah, so, it's like you can't just switch out Catcher in the Rye from Moby Dick when you're no. trying to like make a point about no, something. like they should have done it like doesn't even make any remote they sense. They should have changed to like a Shakespeare play or something, right? I don't know. Switch out to uh, I don't know, like even Romeo and or Juliet, just at least there's cut that literary aspect out of it like you don't need that i don't know so it says at westerberg high school in the fictional fictional sherwood ohio veronica soya becomes part of a popular but feared clique that includes three wealthy and beautiful girls with the same first name heather duke heather mcnamara and the ruthless queen bee heather chandler tired of the clique abusing its power veronica logs longs for her old life but with with her kinder but less popular friends she becomes fascinated with the new student after he pulls out a gun and fires blanks to scare football player bullies Kurt and Ram. Mm. He says Veronica goes to a frat party where she refuses to have sex with one of the member with one member, unlike Chandler, who is coerced in performing oral sex. Heather Chandler. Uh, when Veronica drunkenly vomits on Chandler, Chandler vows to destroy Veronica's reputation and retaliation. Ah. And then she has sex with JD, and JD and her decide to, I guess, you, what commit revenge. I, yeah, but like, 
do you think this movie works better if Veronica's into it instead of being forced to do it? Yeah, but I think then it gives like the plausible deniability of like she never was really into it. But you're right, it would have made well because it's weird because then like she obviously has to be the hero at the end of this, right? There's a way to do it and still be the hero, right? If, you, if you're smart and know what you're doing, like I, I don't get why she isn't playing him this whole time, you know, and he's playing her seemingly it should be the other way around yeah and now and now he's in the room now with shannon doherty and is shannon doherty's dead now <laughs> it was underlined a lot of things what the fuck yeah. why are we all of a sudden now we're in now we're now we're definitely in um Beetlejuice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. We just got all weird. Oh, this has to be a dream sequence. Yeah. Okay. More fucking carnations. I love how you have this thing with the carnations. I really hate them. Do you know that this won Independent Spirit Award for best first feature? No, I did yep. not know that. And uh does that award way. still exist? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Film Independent Spirit Awards. They're still presented, yeah. Okay. Um, in fact, the movie Past Lives, uh, which was a Korean, South Korean film, was the one that won last year. Oh, yeah. I didn't watch that. Did you? No, you actually knew about this movie? Yeah, I know about it, but I didn't oh, see it. I didn't, I didn't know about it. Hmm. The one that went before it was Everything Everywhere All at Once. Did you like that? I never saw it. Yeah, I, I watched it and I liked it, but it was I didn't understand it until like the very end. I'm a, I am don't think I could like stay off my phone long enough to watch it. <laughs> Seems like you have to pay attention to it. I, uh, I was trying to explain to Chase over the weekend... That he should watch Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And he said that his friend Ronan told him that he couldn't stay off his phone while watching <laughs> Stranger Things. And I went, really? I go, that's kind of interesting. I go, that's like one of those shows you have to pay attention to. Yeah, I mean, I could probably, yeah. I could see that being that way. Do you do that a lot, though? Oh, do yeah. You, are you like that with a lot of stuff? Yeah. It's hard to... It's Focus. hard to even podcast now without looking, you know? And it's like, I'm already doing something. Why do I care? But it's, it's a compulsion now, I think. You're multitasking. That's how I like to think of it. Like, or just give myself ADD. I don't know. But yeah, that's what it is. I like TikTok has been the death of me. Like, I can't, oh, yeah, for sure. I can't sleep anymore because mm -hmm. I'm up all night. Like, basically looking at TikTok and then yeah. I like I've even gone back to trying to like read a book because mm -hmm. I need to not be addicted to my screen. Mm -hmm. You know? How's that working out? Um well I read a lot of the book on the flight to Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Um I read a lot of the book on the flight home from Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I haven't read much of the book since I got home <laughs> from Cleveland. Right. <laughs> and it's an interesting book like I was getting into it while I was on the I was like wow this is like a page turner and then I it sits next to my bed it's next to my bed every night but I don't yep. I don't read you should read it tonight I think I'm going to Okay. part of it too is like when I'm on my phone like so if I read I like lay in my bed on my chest and I like mm -hmm. like I'm looking down at the book mm -hmm. and then my cat will friggin come in and he'll put oh, yeah. on, on top of the book and it's like mm -hmm. seriously yep so, yeah. So he uh, he climbed in her window mm -hmm. and is like filibustering to her yeah. corpse that's hanging. From... She and she's hanging. Yeah. And yeah. Um. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is what we might have missed. It says, um, JD blackmails Heather Duke into getting everyone to sign a petition that, unbeknownst to her, is intended to act as a mass suicide note. He then gives her a red scrunchie that Chandler wore, Heather Chandler wore, symbolizing her power over the school. Martha, an overweight girl who is a frequent target of bullying, attempts to kill herself by walking into traffic. She survives but is badly injured and mocked by her peers who she believe who believe she was attempting to copy the popular kids. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, other Heather, Heather McNamara calls a radio show to discuss her depression. Heather Duke tells the entire school about the radio call and Heather McNamara is bullied. She then attempts suicide by overdosing in the girl's bathroom, but Veronica inter intervened. Okay. So we missed that. That was the whole thing with the, yeah. with the petition. And now she's faked her own death. He believes she's dead. Yes. Well, because it says Veronica return home, returns home, and her parents say that JD stopped by to tell them that he is worried she will attempt suicide. Mm -hmm. Realizing that JD plans to kill her, she fakes her own suicide by hanging, and then JD finds her, and assuming she is dead, he gives a monologue revealing his plans to blow up the school pep rally. Yeah. yeah, blow up the school pep rally and make it look like a mass suicide. So that's where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. We have finally entered the third... <laughs> <laughs> the third phase of this movie. Uh, we're, we're at the last 15 minutes of the movie. <laughs> Everything is coming together nicely. This teacher said, JD told me you committed suicide last night. What are you doing here? <laughs> Whether to kill yourself or not is one of the most important decisions a teenager can make. Well, that's very true. That is true. Do you feel that... <laughs> how do you feel this movie treats uh, suicide? Do you like its use <laughs> uh, in the movie? You know... Is it, is, it, is it satire? Is it... What are we doing? What are we saying? Me, I'm going to have a controversial you know, statement here. I think this is an important movie for kids to watch because, okay. because it shows the absurdity of suicide and the absurdity of, and when I say absurdity, meaning like no one should kill themselves. Like mm -hmm. there's no reason anybody should ever commit suicide. Like it's so funny. Like, do you remember when all the, um, it gets better videos started coming out mm -hmm. and those quickly went from, hey, it gets better, to it became like an LGBT, it gets better. Which, again, is, that's fine. But there is a lot of kids out there who get bullied for just being themselves. That not even gay, straight, whatever. Like, it's just, I got bullied because I couldn't kick the kickball the right way when mm -hmm. I was in kindergarten. And then I just, it was just decided that I was going to get bullied the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. So, um... I think that whole It Gets Better program should have been more designed for just strictly anti-bullying and how it's not like kids need to know that there's no reason to like end it because it does get better. Like it always gets better. Like, I mean, shit, I'm 45 years old and really I've only had like it got better for me. Like, I mean, it got better for me as I was older, but like my life got really better within the last like three, four years after meeting all of you guys. Oh, no, but I mean, it's true because now I feel like I have like a group of friends that I share a lot of common interests with. And when we, go, I mean, you got to admit when we go away together, we fucking laugh our asses mm -hmm. off like almost the entire trip. And we it's do. just, and it's just fun. It's a fun, it's a fun experience. It's a fun environment. And this didn't happen until I was after 40. So you know, I mean, I think it's important for kids to see this. because, And I think this movie handles it in a great way because it's so satirical and just, like, silly. Like, it's silly. Like, these kids, like, you know, here they are. These kids are getting murdered. And they're faking suicide notes. And you see, like, just how quickly you go from, like, Shannon Doherty being one of um, Heather... Chandler's best friends to 
talking shit about her and immediately like taking all the power for herself. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can see how that's like, that's kind of what happens, you know? And I think that, um, I'm trying to think, I don't know if I've had, I don't know if I actually had anybody in my school commit suicide. We had kids die. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we ever had any kids. Like we had a, oh my God, we had this poor kid. Oh God. His name was like Justin. It was like Justin Thomas, I think was his name. And, um, he, had, why are you laughing? At that? <laughs> uh, and, um, he like, he was like hanging out with the wrong crowd and it was, I think like it was like winter time and, uh, they were like running from the cops and like his friends left him. Like he, they were climbing over a fence and I think he like fell off the fence. And he ended up like dying, like of like you what? know, like, yeah, like hypothermia. But he also like I think it was like he was ODing and um, wow, yeah, and like that was when I was like a freshman in high school, and uh, it sucks. Like we were like that, like shook us all up as like a friggin' class because like everybody knew him and he was like a like a nice kid, you know. He just fell in with the wrong crowd, but um, we had some other kids that just had had like died but like even still like that was kind of a tragedy you know for us to have like that in our in our young lives well, but did you react in the way that these teenagers reacted no no no. Know, this this is, this? no but it, no but it it kind of and this is one of the things that like not to tie this back to wrestling but like mm -hmm. this is one of those things that i have about like like everybody that like about bray wyatt or like michael jackson where it's like no one was talking about these guys two days before they died. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden everything is about Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt, Bray Wyatt. You know what I mean? And and I was like, no one was talking about Justin Thomas before he died. And then it's like he died. And then the next thing you know, there's like all these tributes to him and all this like stuff. And it's like, and not that it not that it means anything less. It's just, you know, like care about these people when they're alive like don't do this kind of shit while they're alive mm -hmm. you know like treat them decently while they're still here is it weird to like have because it's all really christian slater's you know kind of fault yeah because he's the one who kind of uses the suicide angle yeah he's a and he, yeah and he's the one that tries to blow up the school Correct. Of what he is currently doing. Mm -hmm. And he's just going around the school putting bum bundles of fucking dynamite everywhere. Yeah. Like, is this a cartoon? Like, <laughs> well, it's a black comedy. <laughs> yeah. Like, but I guess, I guess he had dyn the dynamite from his father's. Uh, I just, I also, I also like that he, he tries to beat up, he's beating up. He's beating up Winona Ryder, and then he starts making out with her. Making out with her, yeah. He's, like he's, he's just a freak. And she's got a fucking hand cannon right here. Yeah. She's got this like magnum force. Fucking yeah, I love thing. that gun. Oh, that gun's it's awesome. And while this is going on, there's the uh, rally, hip rally, which I guess I don't understand. Is the idea like behind it that the explosives will go off and then the other ones underneath will go off i think so because he's not hooking them together but they all seem to have like timers on them yeah well the, the ones underneath the did the ones underneath the bleachers have timers i forget it looks like they all have timers yeah or like at least little like um countdown thingies I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. She shot his fucking finger off. <laughs> nice. I forgot it's about that. It's an important Fuck. digit. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, he's using an old dirty rag to like oh, stop. That, that yeah. gave me the. Ugh. Yeah, that's going to be. That's going to cause an infection. Yeah, sure. buddy. Yeah. I guess uh, it's either that or bleed out. <laughs> Can you bleed out from your finger? I don't think it's a strong enough vein or artery. No, maybe not. I don't think so. Seems then like again, a survivable injury. 
Yeah, then again. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, shop teachers lose fingers all the time. Like, in the Oh, true, yeah. Out, you know? You know, people that work at fireworks stands. That's right. What do you think about this? Do you think that this is, like, a good, um, you know, representation of, like, satire for, like, suicide? It, it's kind of muddled, again, because you have the killer using it as... It's kind of like what they try to do in Scream, where the killers used the idea of violence as to being influenced by, you know, but he kind of put a different spin on it mm -hmm. um, with the suicides. Um, the bomb stuff is a miss for me. That's like... Yeah. It Funny, he, gets up to like, he gets up for his one final like attack and he stabs the dynamite with the knife and that's yeah. the timer. Yeah, I don't get it. But no, uh, I don't either. But yeah. And, and I thought like the whole thing. Hmm. Although she looks like she's fucked up right now. Mm. <laughs> but sometimes that happens like I can watch this movie and um, enjoy it if I don't think too much about it. <laughs> but then when I start to think about it and talk it through, it, it goes like, okay, well. Well, and I think that that's what originally when we when we probably saw this when we were younger, it was probably like just a funny kind of quirky, dark comedy, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not. The other thing, too, is don't forget, this came out at a time where shit like there wasn't stuff going like schools were still very safe oh yeah like yeah <clears throat> maybe like, that's why this hits different for me yeah it also hits differently because you're a, you have a teenager mm -hmm. you know that's it too oh he was wearing the uh timer thing mm. i remember thinking there was an explosion I think the music too is real good at the end here. Yeah, this is good music too at the end. Should she have killed him? Should she kill him? Like in the in the school, should she have shot him in the head? She shot him. I mean, she shot him. Yeah, but not in the head. No, but he's definitely like. Yeah, he's definitely one of those this is like a weird like i'm bleeding out but i'm still i got enough piss and vinegar running through my body yeah. to like you know still win or something yeah um he's trying to blow himself up i guess yeah he's gonna commit suicide funnily enough <laughs> Is she just going to stand there while it happens? I think so. Do you think you could watch somebody <laughs> blow up? No. No. And now she And now she looks like I like to that the whole cigarette's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I like to think that my curiosity would let me do it, but I don't know. No. Like I like the fact that being publicly hanged used to be a total thing. People would just go. Yeah, that's weird. And, and like see and hanging. That, that was the entertainment for the day. It, and people loved it. They loved it. I, I'm like, it blows my mind that that happened. So I don't. I don't I don't know that I could do it. Unless it was somebody I hated. Maybe that like, would be okay. Like, like the, the Rock? Because <laughs> I don't hate anybody else. Just The Rock. And like Hitler, you know. Hitler. But he's already dead, so that's fine. Sure. And so, and then we're learning something about popularity in here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I guess pop popularity is very fickle. 
be friends with who you want to be friends. It's like she wanted to be friends with the with the big girl, and ever and this whole movie is because of that. Little did we know that Martha Dump Truck later went on to become the senator from from Ohio. Oh, really? No. Oh shit! I was like, no, I don't know if Martha Dump Truck end, ended up going on to do anything. Um, I don't think so. Carrie Lynn is our name. Um, oh, that's her name. There was a character named Country Club Keith, and I feel like oh. that's a character for you. And that should be a character for me. Why not? <laughs> Country all right Hill. well thank you for watching heathers with me absolutely um any final thoughts like the jerry springer final thoughts <laughs> <laughs> yeah like i um i think that it's one of those cult classics that um i'm not gonna say it doesn't hold up it's just you have to just suspend disbelief and trying to think too hard about the plot <laughs> and just enjoy like teenagers doing bad stuff but i just wish that winona veronica had been more into the crimes and then like maybe had had a change of heart or i agree or conned her way into mm -hmm. stopping him in some way like 100 i 100 percent agree i think that what we were missing we we didn't we never got to see her face turn, you know. Right. And I think yeah. that that yeah. because she never fully went heel, and right. I think we should have had her go from heel to face. So I exactly. agree. With you. I agree yeah. with you completely. That's what that movie is missing, and I didn't. I guess I didn't realize <laughs> it. I, I didn't realize that that's what um, I needed from that movie. But sure. anyway, um, it was so great to watch with you. Always. And is there anything I know you have tons of pods going on. What do you want to talk about in the month of October if you know? <laughs> um, well, I would imagine that you can always hear every week on GFA Live with my BFF PD Winson. Um, hear us on any podcatcher app, whether it's Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, however you find your fine podcasts. Uh you can hear me every other Friday on the North South Connection Podcast Network um, on A La Cat with Keithy. And mm -hmm. occasionally I drop a hail to the Keith. So mm -hmm. please check those out. Um, and then over on the Backbone Network, I'm on the Shit Take with Sean Kidd. Uh, we are on Hands of Z, the number one based podcast on Larry Zabisco, uh, Rugged Ronnie Gavin matches. Oh, of course. Stupidest fucking podcast, but apparently people like it. I don't know. So mm. I think we found our niche of, of uh, listeners that just like listening to us complain about old shit. And um, hopefully by the time this is airing, the movie education of Logan Crosland is going to be in effect. And uh, that's a new project that I'm going to be working on with Logan Crosland, where I am going to be taking him through an education of movies that he should have seen already, but has not yet seen. And All right. I, I love it. I, be, I believe listeners will be surprised when we pull out a movie and go, you haven't seen that yet. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. But uh, okay, and then good. on the Twitter, Flounder824, please check me out. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you again, Keithy. Um, you Thank can hear you. my shows uh, here on Wednesdays. I am unsure as to what I am doing with all the rest of my shows during Freak Out Drive-In Month. Uh, you might be hearing two shows uh, on Selected Wednesdays. So hopefully um, you're excited to continue Freak Out Drive-In with me this month. Uh, I have a bunch of guests lined up and some good movies and hopefully hours and hours of listening pleasure um, <laughs> until we do it again next year. So thank you for listening, and we will see you next time. Uh, good night, my lady. Good night, sir. <laughs>